Hello and welcome to MB Tech. Today is going to be a fun day. What we're actually going to be doing is setting up the Prometheus scraper, um, which is basically just a configuration file on the Prometheus server to pull the information from the actual uh, port that is been enabled on actually the host uh, that we want to pull the information from. I'll just get the information like, you know, CPU. Um, I've got it set up to my uh, print server as well, so that we, or my 3D printer. So we can actually see what uh, it pulls from the 3D printer and also uh, from the Prometheus server itself, um, as well as the uh, Proxmox uh, server. And then any VM or anything that we create from that point on, we'll be pulling the, those metrics in as well. Um, so first thing, I want to show you the actual uh, metrics. Um, so this one here is on the uh, Proxmox server. And on the Proxmox server, uh, we go to uh, port 9100 metrics and then within there we can see that it's pulling all these different metrics uh for that system um same thing with the uh plugin for our uh octoprint printer and our octoprint printer has its own uh set of information that it gives out there as well as uh you know information on the temperature of the bed as well as the temperature of the hot end on the 3d printer uh, then on this server here, this is actually the Prometheus server itself. So we'll be getting information off from the Prometheus server as well. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is we actually need to go to our Grafana dashboard. Um, from there, when we went through the initial setup, we were logged in and there was nothing set up on it. Uh, so the same thing here is we're, we're, we're clean and everything is, is plain. Uh, so what we need to first do is actually set up a data source. Uh, that data source is going to be a, the Prometheus server, which is on the same box. So we'll go to data source, add data source, it's Prometheus, and then here Prometheus is fine. Here we just need to copy the same thing, it's going to be the uh, localhost 9090. Okay, so for here we'll have the uh, localhost at 9090, uh, access is going to be server default, uh, everything else looks good here, and we just do a save and test. Uh, it says that data source has been updated, uh, so we know that, that that part there is good and we have that database available now. Um, so our data sources currently is just Prometheus. Uh, from this point, what we're going to do is we're actually going to log into the Prometheus server itself. So we SSH into that box, um, which is on this one here, it's the 192.168.1.80. And then in here, if we go to the Etsy Prometheus We need to edit the Prometheus YAML file. And we see right now that it's actually, uh, you know, job name is Prometheus and it's scraping this on port 9090. So what we have here is the job name for Octoprint. We have the scrape interval of five seconds. We have the path of where the actual uh, metrics are stored. And then here we have an API key and that is created within the Octoprint, uh, which I'll show you that real quick. Uh, as well. Um, the target, which this is its IP address, and then the port, which is port 80. And then here we've got a, the job node exporter. This is going to uh, pull it from 10.14.15 at 9100, which we showed, and then 192.168.80.9100 9100 as well. And those are these two here. Uh, when we look at the metrics here, and there's the 80, and then here's the uh, 10.1.5, which is the actual uh, Proxmox server, and then this one here is the Prometheus server, and then this one here is the uh, print server. So if we actually go to the print server, or the uh, interface for that, we can see in here uh, that if we go to the plugins, plugin manager, it has the Prometheus, we can just look for it here Promethe Prometheus exporter um, so that's been installed on there and that's what creates that uh, location for that um, so from there what we need to do is we need to go in and actually create an API key so if we go to the, the API and application keys you can see here that I created a, uh, a key right here and that's real easy to do you just have your username unique identifier, which I had it called Grafana, and then the API key, which is this C1A3. Uh, and if you go back to the configuration file, uh, you can see that 
is here for the API key. And that's just so that it will only allow from that user or from that location uh, access to that uh, directory uh, in metrics. Um, and then we've got our node exporter, which is from the ones that we installed, the one that's on the uh, Proxmox server, as well as the actual uh, Prometheus server and uh, Grafana server. So that's there as well. Um, so then all we need to do here is just uh, escape, exit, right, quit. And then uh, we should probably restart the services. So we're going to stop Prometheus and we can see that it is dead with the status. And then we're going to start. And we can see that it is now running. Um, once that's done, uh, we actually should be able to go to the actual uh, Prometheus server. And we can go to that server. There's its metrics, but if we go to 9090, we can see that here's the actual uh, Prometheus server. And then from here, we can actually pull some information from the graphs. So here we can do an expression, we can do octo print. So we can see here's our octo prints here. We can see uh, prints done total. Do a quick execute, and it shows that we have done zero prints, which makes sense because we have not done any prints yet uh, within this. So what we can do here as well, um, we can actually go to our print server, and we can do a quick uh, load this mount, and we're going to print this. Just so I can show you guys a little bit of cool information that you can get from this. And we can see that our target here is... Uh, approximately 50 and now go back to Grafana so we're gonna say create our import and then from here if you actually go to the Grafana uh, dashboard website you can actually find these dashboard IDs so we're gonna copy this ID which is 1860 we're gonna go back to the Grafana and we're actually just gonna paste that 1860 and we're gonna say load so it is loaded up it has loaded up this node exporter full uh, folder is going to be general is fine, and then it wants to know what database. Well, we've only got the one, so that'll be the default, and then we hit import. From there, you can actually see it's got a whole bunch of dials and, you know, neat information that it's pulled already from, uh, you know, the Pro Proxmox server, which is uh, the 1.5. And then if you hit this drop down, you can actually go to the actual Prometheus server itself, and we can see what level it's at. So it's very, very, very powerful that way. Um, another thing you can do is you can actually go in and you can import again. And then here it wants to know what uh, JSON is. So what I do is I have a uh, information up on uh, GitHub. And this is to set up a OctoPrint dashboard. So all you need to do is come in here and actually just hit the copy. And I'll have this link in there as well. Go back to the Grafana and just paste. So it just pasted all that information that was up there. And then we're going to say load. Octo print dashboard general has a, has a unique ID and we say import from there. We can actually see, you know, what our temperature is of the hot end as well as the temperature of the, um, the bed itself that the 3d prints are being put on. Uh, let's see if we can't get this camera stream running here. Okay. I just wanted to show you a little bit more. Uh, this is after approximately uh, 30 minutes worth of uh, pulling information. Um, so here we can see, you know, more information over a period of time. You can see your like RAM utilization, your CPU basics. Uh, this is for the node exporter. And then if we go to the, uh, uh, this is actually the Prometheus server itself with uh, Grafana on it. So you can see it's uh, metrics as well. Uh, you can drill down into these even more um, just by kind of sliding and going in. You can see your different values uh, for this. And then as I mentioned before, we also have the uh, uh, Octoprint. Um, as well. So we go to dashboards home and here we go to the octo print dashboard. Uh, this one here, I basically created, um, off from, uh, other, other, uh, places that I've seen. This actually has the camera stream as well. Um, so you can actually see what you're uh, printing at the time. You can see what percent complete is once again, your temperatures, uh, how many have completed, how many failed prints you've had, uh, lapse time, all, all that kind of information that you can get, uh, so we'll just do a quick five minute and refresh it. And here we can see that the uh, bed temperature is 51.8. And then we've got our hot end temperature of 103 uh, degrees Celsius there as well. Um, here you have your extrusion per print and then you have your extrusion to total. Um, so here, you know, this will slowly go up over time. Like if we go back, we can actually see for the last 30 minutes. 
Um, we can see that it did go kind of up and down, say last hour. So we can see that, you know, for this print, it did this um, many millimeters of uh, filament and then it's done. But then over here at our total, you can see that it went up to the 1.5 and it's going to stay here until we print again and it's going to continue up. Uh, kind of self-explanatory. I just wanted to let you guys know that. I hope you enjoyed this uh, section on Prometheus and Grafana. Uh, it is pretty interesting and pretty cool how you can graph everything for your systems. And from now on, all the systems that we do create, we will add to this graph so that we can see multiple different systems as well as setting up alerting and going into other different areas that we can see that makes this really uh, useful and a powerful tool. Again, my name is Matthew Bingham with MB Tech. I hope you enjoyed this section and we'll see you soon.